Hey everybody, welcome to Dog Oracle. Today, we are going to go over the 15 German Shepherd Puppy Training Tips. Make sure to watch until number 1 because it is one of the most effective ways to train your German Shepherd Puppy. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when we release more amazing dog videos like this one. German Shepherds are known to be vigilant and enthusiastic. These dogs are known for their exceptional loyalty to their owners and do not easily trust other people. These attributes make German Shepherds a great pet, watchdog, tracker, and a guide dog. According to dog experts, German Shepherds are very intelligent. However, they need to be trained at a young age because of their fast maturity rate. A 6-month German Shepherd is equal to a 10-year-old human being. Similarly, a 1-year-old German Shepherd is comparable to a 20-year-old human. Isn't that mind-blowing? Puppy training is difficult since it requires a lot of patience from the dog owner. Your pup would not be able to learn the tricks right away. So do not be disappointed with your puppy because he will learn everything you will train him over time. These are the 15 German Shepherd puppy training tips you should know. Number 15. Learn the right way of potty training your puppy. One of the most challenging things to do as a dog owner is cleaning up your pet's waste, especially if you have a German Shepherd. A German Shepherd often takes dumps in unnecessary places. As its owner, you should always have a tremendous amount of patience for potty training your German Shepherd puppy. You must carefully choose which technique you will adapt when you potty train your puppy. Potty training takes a lot of time, and you should be patient and persistent while you are in the process of training him. You can start potty training your puppy by letting him slowly understand what he will be doing. Take him outside and inform him that this is the appropriate time and place to take a dump. However, you should also remember that there are times when he feels the need to take dumps on a different schedule. This means that you should always keep an eye on your puppy for if ever this happens, you will not be surprised and be prepared to take action as soon as possible. Number 14. Observe reward training with your puppy. Reward training shows positive reinforcement, and this is the most effective tip to adapt when you train your German Shepherd puppy. So it is a must that when your puppy follows your instructions, you give him rewards in return. Reward training comes in various forms. You can give your puppy his favorite treats or provide him with words of praise to let him recognize that he is doing a great job. With German Shepherds, they need to receive affection from their owners. Words of praise show that you are an affectionate dog owner. Give your puppy words of praise frequently and you will have a good dog in return. Overall, reward training helps in encouraging your puppy to repeat the same act because he is being rewarded when he is doing well. I do not recommend negative reinforcement, such as hitting your puppy when he does not follow your instructions. It is always better to observe reward training since it is more effective when training him. Punishing will only make things worse and can compromise the relationship you have with him. You can eliminate your German Shepherd's bad behavior and create the obedient, well-behaved dog of your dreams with the professional online dog training course linked below in the description. Number 13. Understand the body language of your puppy. In the previous tip, I have discussed the importance of understanding how your German Shepherd puppy communicates. Aside from this, you also need to understand the body language of your puppy. You must know how to properly analyze and understand his body language. For example, if you notice that his tail hangs in the middle, then it shows that he is feeling either of these emotions, scared, aggressive, or playful. When it comes to animals, their body language is uncertain since it can show that they are happy but mean the other way. You must understand his body language depending on the environment and situation. However, you cannot decipher this overnight, so you should be patient when understanding your puppy's body language. After you watch this video, you must study the body language of German Shepherds to develop a better understanding of your puppy's body language and what it means. Number 12 you should take into consideration your puppy's learning environment. Animals are similar to human beings when it comes to learning, since their environment influences their learning progress. They learn best when they are in the right environment, so you must take into consideration the learning environment of your German Shepherd puppy. You should find a place where your puppy can freely train with no distractions, 
A conducive learning environment contributes to the success of the behavior training, so choose the appropriate learning environment to train him. You can train your puppy in the backyard since your dog is comfortable in your home and there are no strangers around. However, if you want to train your dog outside, you can take him to the park as long as there are a few dogs and people. When there are a lot of dogs and people, your puppy will be distracted and that will get in the way of training him. Number 11. Always be calm when you train your puppy. When you train your German Shepherd puppy, you need to be relaxed at all times. Most of the time, when dog owners are uncalm during training, their dogs turn out to be uncalm as well. German Shepherds are intuitive. They are keenly attentive to your actions and emotions. So you must be cautious about how you feel when training your German Shepherd puppy. If you notice that your puppy is not following your instructions, you should always check your emotions. It might be that you are frustrated and tense when you commanded him, which resulted in why he did not respond to your instructions. On the other hand, if your puppy properly followed your instructions, then it reflects that you projected positive emotions to him, such as being enthusiastic. You should take note that your emotions will significantly impact how your German Shepherd puppy will behave. Number 10. Be aware of how your puppy communicates with you. You should be able to understand the way your German Shepherd puppy communicates with you. Without a proper understanding of this, you will not effectively train him. Now, it is no doubt that communication is difficult, especially when it comes to dogs. They cannot talk the way human beings do. However, if you want to train your puppy, you should devote time to learning his language. German Shepherds are instinctive. They understand their dog owners through cues even if they do not communicate through singular words or complete sentences. The thing is, your puppy analyzes and understands your body language as well as the tone of your voice. You should be mindful of how you talk to your puppy. You will determine how he communicates with you through the manner of your communication with him. If you speak to your puppy calmly and respectfully, he will follow all your instructions. However, if you yell at him, he will be frightened and not follow what you say. Number 9. Anticipate the behavior problems of your puppy. Dogs have behavior problems, especially German Shepherds, so they should be regularly checked and attended to for whatever needs they have. These needs pertain specifically to their mental and physical needs. When you do not know your puppy's needs, he will become naughty and aggressive. Behavior problems will have a hindrance when it comes to training your puppy. German Shepherds are very smart, and they tend to use their intimidating presence as an excuse to get away with how destructive and bipolar they are. This is a bad thing if it keeps going on uncontrollably. So you must know the behavior problems that your puppy has. This is beneficial since you know how to handle him properly without resorting to actions that can hurt him. You must be able to discipline him so that he is not hurt, but he also learns that what he did was wrong. Number 8. Teach your puppy how to properly use his mouth. Mouthing is a typical behavior observed in German Shepherds, and they are known for this. They specifically chew on shoes and furniture. Hence, it is essential to train your puppy not to chew on random objects. With your puppy, you must ensure to practice and train him on how to properly use his mouth especially that he is still at a young age and has no understanding of the purpose of particular objects in your household. It is common for him to explore his surroundings and things using his mouth. However, to prevent these habits, the simplest way possible would be to buy him toys that he could chew on as much as he wants to. Also, let him know that only these toys are what he should be chewing on. Take note that you must remain calm if your puppy chews on your personal belongings as a dog owner because he still has no idea of what these things are. Addressing this action would be a big factor in your puppy's behavior as he grows older. Number 7. Acknowledge that your puppy has natural instincts for work. German Shepherds possess natural instincts when it comes to working. Most of the time, dog owners prefer German Shepherds because they are excellent at watching over and guarding homes and dog owners. Basically, German Shepherds are perfect protectors. German Shepherds are fond of learning. With this being said, your puppy must have some work to keep him busy. Otherwise, he will be dangerous, depressed, and destructive if left with nothing to do at all times. As you train your puppy, do not hesitate to give him complex tasks because he possesses the natural instincts to do any work at hand. 
Challenging tasks are helpful to your puppy since it helps fulfill his role as a working dog. German Shepherds like it when they please their owners, so when you let your puppy do something and they successfully accomplish it, you are not the only one pleased but also your puppy. Overall, work is beneficial for the well-being of your puppy. Number 6. Develop a strong relationship with your puppy A strong relationship is needed not just for human beings but also with animals. We all know that a strong relationship has a lot of advantages. When it comes to puppy training, a strong relationship between dogs and dog owners can speed up and make the process easier for dog owners. Strong relationships promote smooth sailing communication between you and your puppy. German Shepherds are known as one of the most intelligent dog breeds in the world, so naturally, they will understand the commands of the dog owners because of their high intellect. However, it would be easier for your puppy to understand and follow your commands if a strong relationship has been established. If you don't treat him well, he will hesitate to follow all the instructions you teach him in training. So it is a must that you establish a strong relationship with your puppy. Number 5. Help your puppy develop his socialization skills. Since German Shepherds do not trust other people easily, they can act in aggressive behaviors with strangers. As a dog owner, you do not want your puppy to develop aggressive behaviors with almost everyone except you. The recommended age for teaching your puppy to socialize is 5 months old until 7 months old. Otherwise, if you teach him to socialize after the recommended age, it can already be too late for him to develop socialization skills. You can attend socialization classes to help your puppy develop this skill. However, you must ensure that he is vaccinated to avoid any health issues once he attends the class. Once your puppy develops socialization skills, he will not be aggressive towards strangers and instead develop friendliness and confidence. However, this does not mean that he trusts other people easily in the same way as he trusts you. Your puppy trusts you the most in comparison to other people. Number 4. Be consistent in training your puppy. You should be consistent when it comes to training your German Shepherd puppy. When you continuously repeat the same set of instructions with him each training, it will produce good results. If you observe that your puppy is doing well during your training, you should make him repeat this. Repetition is beneficial for him since it helps embed it in his routine. When your puppy continuously does these instructions over time, this will become a natural thing for him to do. However, if you suddenly change the instructions, he will never learn anything you train him. German Shepherds have high intellect, so dog owners will not experience problems when training them the same thing every time. The behaviors will be reinforced to your puppy, and it develops into his second nature. He can adapt to these behaviors swiftly, so you must be consistent with how you train him. Number 3. Make sure that your puppy understands and acknowledges who you are as his owner. German Shepherds are challenging to train because of how bold and confident they are. The less dominance you put in yourself when you train your puppy, the more it becomes harder to tame and show him who the boss is. You, as his owner, must know how to acknowledge all types of accomplishments that your puppy does. This would include giving him his favorite snacks, treats, toys, scratches, and belly rubs based on what your dog prefers to like more. You should also be bolder when it comes to handling your puppy's mistakes or failures. Being a good leader to him should not only matter when he does something good, you should also show good leadership when he fails. You should establish yourself as a leader as early as possible. It is easier to make your puppy acknowledge you as his owner at a young age than when he's all grown up. Number 2. Start training your puppy at a young age As mentioned in the introduction, the maturity rate of German Shepherds is fast. Aside from this reason, German Shepherds have the tendency to be stubborn and dominant. A stubborn dog is hard to deal with since he does not follow what you say. The dog goes by his own rules and does what he wants. If you desire to spare yourself from this struggle, you should start training for your German Shepherd puppy when he is still young. German Shepherds are also naturally dominant. However, with early training, you will quickly establish and enhance the dominant personality of your puppy. The recommended age for training your puppy is 7 weeks old until 8 weeks old. During this age, he can quickly respond to what you will be training him. I highly recommend that you start training your puppy at an early age for your convenience and before it's too late. 
Number 1. Play with your puppy. Do not forget to allot playtime for you and your German Shepherd puppy. You need to have fun with each other and not get too serious about the training. This is also a way for you and your puppy to connect and bond with each other. After all, you bought a puppy because you want to add joy to your life, so make sure that you play with him. At the end of the training, make sure that there is playtime for both of you to enjoy. Your puppy also deserves a break after all his hard work in training. You can play fetch with him, give him his favorite toy, or do any activities under the sun that both of you consider enjoyable. When you provide activities focused on learning and having fun, you will have great results in training your German Shepherd puppy. You have just learned about the 15 tips on how you can start training your German Shepherd puppy. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You can train your German Shepherd puppy effectively using these tips. However, the list does not end with these 15 tips. There are other tips that can work which you can use when you are training your puppy. Another good tool to start training your German Shepherd starting today is with the airplane game. Play with this game with your dog for 10 to 15 minutes per day to increase your dog's focus and obedience, and it's completely free. Download link is in the description box below this video. Keep in mind that you need to be patient with your puppy as you train him. He is also patient with you, so you must be patient with him. Do not resort to harmful tactics when he does not immediately get what you tell him to do. Be patient and consistent and the training will work out. Make sure to stick around and check out one of these next two awesome videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.